just woke up from a nap. Here's an album you guys may not want to sleep on if you're fans of the progressive rock genre. It's uh, the United Kingdom's Magnum. Yeah, Magnum. They're a progressive rock act that's actually been around since the early 1970s. They were originally a house band for a, uh, an organization over in England and eventually grew to success. They've released many albums and after taking a brief hiatus in the 1990s, they were formed in 2001 and have recorded, and have recorded many subsequent albums ever since then. Back in the 80s, they had uh, reached their, uh, the top of their acclaim by charting in the UK album charts at number 17. Uh, however, it's one of those things where Magnum's a band where international exposure hasn't exactly always been a prominent thing. So whenever this album, which is entitled The Visitation, which is a 2011 release, appeared in my hands in the store uh, just a couple of days ago and was preparing itself to be released this coming Tuesday, I was a little surprised, and I really didn't exactly know what it was all about. I could definitely tell that it was going to be some form of metal or some sort of progressive rock simply because of the way uh, in which everything was packaged up. Sometimes you just have, a, have to have an eye for these things. Sometimes it's really down to the look of how an album's artwork and the way that the uh, information is represented in uh, the, the packaging. Uh, it really gets, just comes right down to that, to whether or not it is something like this, whether it be metal, whether it be rock, or whether it be another genre. And this one definitely had the look. And another thing that is definitely easy to tell is the presence of SPB. Now... The funny thing about this is that I just woke up, and last night it was this album that actually was keeping me awake. So it's a very interesting parallel right there, because this album actually has some pretty awesome moments on it. This is my first ever Magnum experience, which sounds pretty funny considering all the different things that Magnum relates to over here in America. But whenever it comes to the progressive rock group uh, from the UK, this was my very first Magnum album, the very first album that I've ever listened to them. And... I'll be honest, this was actually a pretty good, uh, solid first experience. Uh, right away, the first two tracks, Black Skies and Doors to Nowhere, really captured my attention and did so quite well. And that's something that really prompted me to, to mention it over on the Facebook channel, which many of you may or may not have seen, considering this happened at like 5 in the morning my time, or a little bit earlier than that, uh, all depending. And it's because these albums, or should I say these cuts from this album, both have a very unique structure to them. I mean, it definitely follows your standard rules and regulations of progressive rock, if you really want to call them that. Uh, they're very unique, however, they also maintain a bit of a harder edge. You can actually hear one of the tracks that I just mentioned, Doors to Nowhere, because it is favorited on my channel currently. And I will actually do you a favor and provide you guys with a link to that video in the description box below. However, the one thing that should be noted here is that these two tracks open up the CD, open up the album, on a thunderous note. It really keeps your attention, not to mention gets you really excited for the rest of the release. And I mention this in this particular light because after this, the album does sort of tend to go a little downhill a little bit. However, it's not in a bad way. Really what it is is that they kind of transform themselves back into what they were, and it's a little bit more geared towards the classic progressive rock sound of the 70s and 80s. And that's not a bad thing whatsoever. It's almost like turning back the clock and listening to an old Marillion album that's laced with some Genesis that's also laced with something that maybe the Scorpions would have done. And that combination of bands is not really a bad thing. However, whenever you consider the first two tracks, the rest of it kind of pales in comparison a little bit. Now, you may disagree. You may actually find songs such as Spin of the Wheel or Freedom Day or The Frontier, The Last Frontier or... You know, Midnight Riders to all be excellent songs as well. I mean, it really just depends on your taste with this particular record. However, as a fan of progressive rock and progressive metal, I gotta say, and leaning a little bit more towards the progressive metal side, might I add, uh, the first two tracks are definitely the top notch for me. And I, I, I would like to say that the remainder of the album was a disappointment to me. However, I can't 100% go that direction because that's where we really go into the whole idea of bias that I spoke to all of you guys about uh, in the last video where it really becomes a little bit more about a personal preference instead of what the work itself actually represents. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to give you guys a consensus of the entire album in just a couple of lines. Overall, the work on this album is pretty damn good. It really embodies what progressive rock is all about. And for the first Magnum experience, I gotta say, I definitely want to go back and sample a lot more. 
mainly because this album has impressed me enough with what they were able to do, not only just on the first two tracks, but on the entire release, to really show what kind of band that they've always been, and what kind of band they definitely have the future of being. And not to mention, another thing that really made me happy was whenever I did some research on this band, one of the big reasons why they decided to call it quits and form a new band, entitled Hard Rain in the 1970s, uh, 1990s, should I say, was because of burnout. It was because after 20 years of thinking about nothing but the same band over and over again, where it constantly embodied uh, the man's time, well, he decided to take a step back, which kind of parallels what I spoke about last night as well. For those of you who are watching this video and have no idea what I'm talking about, I'm going to leave you guys a link, only I'm going to leave it right there. But at any rate, guys, if you're a fan of progressive rock or of progressive metal, you're going to find sort of elements of both. If you're a fan of classic rock, you're also going to find elements as well. So this can actually lead to a lot of fans being very satisfied with this release. So I'd have to give it a solid 7 out of 10. And I'm not exactly being generous with that. I think that that's a fair, fair number. Because the work within is definitely good enough uh, in order for this number to be quantified. And to be, well, as I said before, fair. So, if you guys want a little something different, or if you like progressive rock and Magnum's kind of a name that you haven't heard of, give it a shot. You may actually enjoy it. I know I did. I kind of want to go listen to it again. 